Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So we read from the Bhagavad Gita, 18 chapter, text 3 and 4. Dhyacham Dosha Vat Iti Eke Karma Prahur Manishina Yakya Dana Tapa Karma Na Yachyam Iti Chapare Yachyam Dosha Yadityeke Karma Prahur Manishinaha Yakya Dana Tapa Karma Natya Chamiti Chapare Yacham Dosha Vat Ityeke Karma Prahur Manishina Yakya Dana Tapa Karma As an evil Iti Das Eke Vankrup Karma, work, prahu, they say, manishina, great thinkers, yagya, of sacrifice, dana, charity, tapa, and penance, karma, works, na, never, dhyachyam, are to be given up, iti, Thus, cha and apare others. Translation, translation and purport by His Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada Ki Chai. Uh, some learned men uh, declare that all kinds of fruitive activities should be given up as faulty, yet other sages maintain that acts of sacrifice, charity and penance should never be abandoned. Purport. There are many activities in the Vedic literature which are subject of contention. For instance, it is said that an animal can be killed in a sacrifice, yet some maintain that animal killing is completely abominable. Although animal killing is a in, in, in a sacrifice is recommended in the Vedic literature, the animal is not uh, considered to be killed. The sacrifice is to give uh, a, a new life to the animal. Sometimes the animal is given a new animal life after being killed in the sacrifice and sometimes the animal is uh, promoted immediately to the human form of life. But there are different opinions among the sages. Some say that animal killing should always be avoided and others say that for a specific sacrifice it is good. All these different uh, opinions on sacrificial activity are now being clarified by the Lord himself. So there's also text 4 I heard. Nishchayam Srinume Tatra Tyage Bharata Sattama Tyagohi Purusha Vyagra Tri Vita Sampre Kirtitaha O oh best of the Paratas, now hear my, ju my judgment about renunciation. O oh tiger among men, renunciation is declared in the scriptures to be of three kinds. Although there are dif differences of opinion about renunciation, here the Supreme Personality of God, that Sri Krishna, gives his judgment, which should be taken as final. After all, the Vedas are different laws given by the Lord. Here the Lord is personally present and his words should be taken as final. The Lord says that the process of renunciation should be considered in terms of the modes of material nature 
in which it is performed. Om Akya Timranya Syakananjana Salakyam Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manopistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Katamayam Dadati Svapadantikam Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Nanda Sri Advaita Gadadha Sri Vasadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Yacham dosha vat itye ke karma prahur mani shinaha yagyatana tapa karma nat yachyam iti chapare. That's on a question by Achuna. So we go, we, we also read the f- first verse. Question, first two verses. Achuna said, O mighty armed one, I wish to understand the purpose of renunciation, tyaga, and of the renounced order of life, Sanyas, O killer of the Keshi demon, master of the senses. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, the Supreme Personality of God had said, the giving, the giving up of activities that are based on material desire is what great learned men call the renounced order of life, Sanyas. So giving up of the activities. And uh, giving up the results of all activities, the results of all activities is what the wise call renunciation or tyaga. <coughs> then uh, some learned learn men declare that all kinds of fruitive activities should be given up as faulty. Yet other sages maintain that acts of sacrifice, charity and penance should never be abandoned. <coughs> and then text 4. O best of the Paratas, now hear my judgment about renunciation, Tyaga, O tiger among men, renunciation or Tyaga is declared in the scriptures to be of three kinds, according to the Gunas, eh? Tamaguna, Rajaguna and Sattvaguna. So. So this 18th chapter is the conclusion of the Bhagavatam, it's the, uh, of the Bhagavad Gita, it's 18 chapters, and it's entitled The Perfection of Renunciation. Fir- the first six chapters c- uh, deal about karma, the middle cha- six chapters about bhakti, and the last six chapters about <coughs> gyan, knowledge. So here Arjuna asks what is a proper understanding of renunciation because the Lord asked him uh, to, uh, to fight uh, for the pro- proper purpose. Uh, but, then, uh, so, but some sages uh, say one should not fight. War is always in general bad. Uh, to do violence to other living entities is uh, is uh, adharma. So, so therefore, Arjuna he brought up very good arguments why not to fight. But but uh, Krishna he de, he ca- countered him you now with with his conclusion because uh, Krishna's conclusion is fi- final c- conclusion. Vedanta krit Vedanta krit Veda vid eva chaham. Krishna's statement is the final because he is the ultimate knower of the Vedas. He is the compiler of the Veda. Uh, and he, it is actually he who has to be known and be understood and to be attained by the process of Veda. This Veda, Veda Pata, part of the Vedas. So Krishna knows the best because he is the origin. Veda Narayana Sakshat. The Vedas are not man-made, they come from the Lord himself. That means they're eternal. And in one sense they cannot contradict. Although seemingly for, for different people's uh, minds there is a contradiction. Therefore the Vedic sages they have different kinds of opinion about the uh, ultimate Siddhanta and uh, understanding and application of the Vedic knowledge. That's stated in the Mahabharata that uh, sages always argue with each other. 
Tarko Pratishta Shruta Yovibina Nashavarishi Aryasam Matam Nabinam Tarmasa Tatvam Nihitam Guhayam Mahachani Yena Katasa Panta so a, a sage cannot never have the same conclusion, never ne never same uh, same understanding. And there are different sages according to the different uh, times and the places and uh, and people and process. And for the people in the different modes of nature. Uh. <coughs> Therefore, Vedas are absolute, but they have to be applied and be understood and teach by the Mahachan, Mahachana Yena Katha Sampanta. They, they give a, a ultimate conclusion, ultimate understanding how to apply Vedic knowledge according to time, place and circumstances. <coughs> For example, in, a, in a previous ages, uh, animal killing was, uh, was, uh, was okay. It, it was done, you know, when one, one offered horse sacrifices, even Krishna encouraged after the battlefield of Kur Kurukshetra, he established uh, King Yudhisthira as the of, as the king of the Yadu, of, of the of the Kurus. So he became the king of Hastinapur, practically the ruler of the whole world, and he encouraged him to perform three three uh, uh, horse sacrifices, Ashwamedha Yagya. Uh, be because uh, this kind of uh, activity, uh, uh, even the, the Lord recommended according to the time, place and the circumstances. Because a king, uh, Yudhishthira, although he was a devotee, uh, he was Vaishnava, uh, lo lo uh, Lord Krishna encouraged him to do Ashma Ashwamedha Yagya, uh, three. Uh, Indra performed 100. Uh, he became famous. Indra... Ma Indra uh, Sorry, uh, Prithu Maharaj, 99. He also wanted to perform 100, but Indra, he stole the last horse because he didn't want it that uh, somebody can compete with him, can uh, make competition for him and become even greater or more famous than, than uh, Indra. So he kidnapped one horse. It was greatly condemned, uh, mischievous by Indra. Uh, but the great king, uh, uh, Prithu, uh, although in the beginning uh, he became a uh, little upset, so but ultimately uh, he he was intelligent and uh, so he let it be. So he he let uh, let uh, Indra to be accredited as the one who get, get as one hundred sacrifices because Prithu Maharaj he was much more than an Indra. He was an uh, Shakti Avesha avatar. He's one of the twenty-two uh, main avatars uh, of Vishnu and those of empowered by Vishnu in the list of in the Bhagavatam. And besides of that, he was also a great Vaishnava. Uh, he was a great worshipper of pra Brahminical culture and of um, appreciating and uh, pleasing the Vaishnavas like the four Kumaras. So he got all the blessings. There was no need actually for him to perform 99 horse sacrifices. But because it was the, the yuga where such uh, sacrifices were recommended, uh, as you know, there are different ages, different yugas, and in every yuga there are different uh, main uh, sacrifices uh, recommended by the Shastra or by the scriptures. So in Satya Yuga, the main sacrifice was meditation, was complete absorption. Uh, everyone was practically on level of uh, Paramahamsa. That means uh, not attached to the, to the material, to the temporary. They were all uh, absorbed in the transcendental platform. Mm -hmm. Then in Treta Yuga, the next stage, uh, uh, Yagya, uh, uh, like horse Yagya, and very rarely uh, cow Yagyas or bull Yagyas were performed. But this were very rarely, and they were mostly, as Prabhupada mentions, I will read later on from one purple from Chaitanya Charitamrita, that they mostly used any old animals uh, for this kind of sacrifice. And it was only done by the qualified brahmanas uh, who, uh, who were able, by their purity and by their man mantras, uh, to uh, rejuvenate uh, the life of the animal. That means either it became a yo young cow, the old, 
became young. So, so who is against? Uh, to, uh, if you're an old man and, you, and suddenly be, you can be, uh, remain the same person and you become a rejuvenated body, uh, it's very, very nice, it's gracious, it's merciful. So then the, the animals were not, not killed for the sake of killing, like nowadays uh, so many uh, animals are killed, uh, not, not for sacrifice, but for uh, uh, pleasing the tongue purpose. Uh. To, for sense gratification. And that is, very, of course, very, very sinful. And many they kill in the name of Yagya animals. Uh, and, and this is also not recommended. Uh, if you only do it in Yagya, uh, without proper understanding, without uh, understand, uh, or with a fruitive result for material powers, for material benefits, this is in the mode of ignorance. Uh, mode of ignorance and passion. Therefore, those who are in ignor ignorance, they're, they're, uh, for them, there's a certain permission uh, for, for uh, offering an animal. But lower animals, like goat, goat and sheep, like that. Not actually cows, and not, e not even uh, horses, uh, also not. Especially in Kali Yuga, these uh, four things, uh, fi five things, are, are forbidden. Uh, Lord Chaitanya quoted from, from the Brahma Vaivarta Purana that uh, five things are forbidden in the Kali Yuga and amongst these five, the Go, Go Yagya and Ashwamedha Yagya uh, uh, is um, forbidden to, to perform for, for ev everyone. So in, in Treta Yuga such sacrifices were performed by qualified Brahmanas uh, for either uh, for the te testifying or, or checking uh, the power of the mantra and for the, and for the benefit of the animal also. And uh, not, not for the pleasure of, uh, their e e uh, that they can eat the meat. And in ma many cases the cow also became uplifted, the soul, uh, to, to, to come uh, attain a hu human, human form. Then in Dvapara Yuga, the, the sacrifice uh, was deity worship. And in the Kali Yuga, uh, because there is a Kali Doshani Derajan, as an ocean of fault, a recommendation, a recommended Yagya, or process of uh, pleasing the Lord, is uh, Sankirtan Yagya. So every age has a, has a certain Yagya, certain sacrifice uh, to be performed. And who is defining this uh, Yagya? It is, it are the scriptures and the yuga avatar. That means every, every specific uh, yuga has a specific yuga avatar who is uh, establishing the process how to, how, uh, for the people, uh, how to become purified and ultimately become uplifted from, from our uh, karmic life and attain uh, either svarga or liberation or even go back home, back to Godhead, to the spiritual world. Uh. But, but most of the people, they are not interested to go to the spiritual world. They want to just become uplifted to Svarga Loka. They are, they are interested in fruitive activities and Karma Kandya. And therefore those who are uh, Karma Kandis, uh, they, say, they, 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 they find the scriptures, because the Vedic scriptures, they, they have statements about everything, to, to encourage everyone, to somehow other, to engage in, in a way not to become further entangled and degraded in, in, uh, in this material world, but to become uplifted, to become purified. Uh, and so therefore the, Ved uh, uh, therefore the Vedic the Vedas uh, gives different statement how to perform fruitive activities in a regulated way, karma, uh, uh, to give charity, to uh, do yagya, sacrifices, to deity worship, uh, to uh, Take upon yourself certain kind of tapasya, uh, regular tapasya, like for ekadasi, to fast, uh, or to, take, uh, uh, to follow the ekadasi vrata, or the chaturmasya vrata. So then there, there are monthly and weekly secondary vratas one can take to fast on Monday, uh, every Monday or Thursday or on Saturday I don't uh, touch any iron and any metals 
like that. So, so the Hindus are very concerned about this. Although the Acharyas say these uh, weekly and monthly secondary rules are not so much important. They may, maybe sometimes can be performed, <coughs> no? but the mostly the, those who are performing these rituals, they perform them f for their own fruitive results. That means they want to attain certain fruitive results, benefit for themselves. And this is considered in the Tamaguna and Rajaguna. So Krishna actually wants to encourage, and the Vedic scriptures ultimately also, that ev everyone uh, comes ultimately to the level of sattva, uh, sattva and chayate. Uh, in the sattva, in the truth, or in the mode of goodness, there is the victory. This is the power, this is the strength. As long as we're in Tamaguna and Rajaguna, we get strength from different kinds of activities and kinds of foods and behaviors and habits, but they're actually degrading ourselves. Uh, but if we're actually taking guides of uh, Shastra, then uh, we, we become purified uh, and become a level of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Sattva. And on the level of Sattva, gradually we can understand Sanatana Dharma and, and uh, can, can take up the process of uh, devotional service. Maybe in the beginning a little mixed with Karma and Gyan according to one's interest. And with the time, it becomes purified of karma and gyan. Huh? As Bhagavatam states, akama sarva kama va, moksha kama udaradi, divrena bhakti yogena yacheta purushamparam. If you have mo uh, full, if you are full of material desire, selfishness, or if you have no desire, akama, or you have a desire for liberation, it doesn't matter. Huh? Shukadev Goswami recommends to Shukadev Goswami, those who are Udharadi, those who are broader-minded, they are under any circumstances, uh, fix their mind and all their activities on the Supreme Lord, the, the Purusha. Kamo sarva kamo va, moksha kamo udharadi, divrena bhakti yogena yachita purusham param, parama purusha, that means the Supreme Personality of Godhead under all circumstances. If you have material desire, Dhruva Maharaj had material desire. Some have, uh, are curious, some are knowledgeable, so, some, uh, some they want to attain liberation, some are Brahman realized, they have no desire at all, Atma Rama. But still, Bhagavatam recommends everyone should take uh, a part in glorifying the Parama Purusha, see Krishna, huh? by hearing and chanting about him. That's the ultimate recommended process by our Yuga Avatar, very merciful Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who came especially in this age uh, to teach us the, the Yagya for Kali Yuga. Because in Kali Yuga people have a short life and it's full of faults, full of mistakes and feel, full of misunderstandings and full, no, and, and full of uh, selfish desires. Uh, Therefore, there is only one uh, process recommended: Kali Dosha Nidhirajan, Astye Kamangunan, Kirtana Deva Krishnasya, Mukta Sangam Paramrachet. So the process is uh, Sankitan, uh, the chanting, chanting of uh, Krishna's name, and by chanting of Krishna's name. Uh, it's the one good quality amongst the ocean of bad quality. Uh, so it is recommended therefore to chant the holy name. But if one chants the holy name, one should not think, oh, now I have no obligation anymore to any, anyone else. Uh, it is recommended that everyone uh, should uh, perform uh, uh, activities for his own purification and also to give uh, examples for others. Uh, so therefore it is not recommended for those who chant Hare Krishna not to perform tapasya, uh, not, not to, uh, not to uh, give in charity, not, to, not uh, doing yagya, sacrifice. Of course the best yagya is uh, Sankitan yagya. Deity worship is actually also yagya. Uh, Aktivino Thakur, he says there's, uh, there, there, there are five when, if one becomes initiated, uh, the, there's pancha samskara, the five kinds of sams samskaras, purification processes. And one, one of them is the fifth one, is called yagi yagya. 
Yaga, Yaga. The, fir the first one is uh, accepting uh, Tilak, Urdva Pundra, uh, the Tilak what we have, G Guru giving us a Tilak, according to Sampradaya. Therefore, we should not all choose our Tilak we like. We should use uh, Gopi Chandana Tilak, as given by our Parampara, uh, and, uh, and make it in the proper way, with the mantras for it. Uh, then uh, the second uh, the thing is to uh, put, put uh, how we say, tapa. Tapa means to take up upon yourself certain kind of uh, uh, austerity or penance. Uh, in Sri Sampradaya, their, uh, how we say, brand marking the devotee with the uh, symbols of Lord Vishnu. That means Guru puts uh, iron in the fire uh, with a chakra on it and with a lotus and, or I don't know, different si symbols of Vishnu. And if this iron is hot enough, it will pressed on your arms and sh or sh shoulders and different parts of the body. Uh, this is Sri Sampradaya, Ramanuja, that they're doing this process. But Lord Chaitanya. The followers of Lord Chaitanya and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu didn't rec recommend this tapa. Uh, he, tol he, he told, he, according to Bhaktivinoda Thakur, uh, and instead of doing this kind of brand marking, the, the, uh, the devotee com com promises the Guru and to commit himself uh, to the lotus feet of Krishna and spiritual master and engaging without deviation in devotional service. This is called Vyavyasa Atmi Kabudir Ekeha Kurunandana. This firm conviction, firm concentration on the Guru. This is actually considered the secret of life. Huh? The, to accept the Guru's instruction as one's life and soul. This is tapa, because we all have uh, so many uh, selfish interests. Huh? But, but, but we don't actually know what is our real benefit. So the, therefore the Guru is giving us the real benefit, uh, is delivering us the message of the Shastra, the scriptures, and he's uh, giving us mantra initiation. Therefore the third uh, samskara of the Pancha, five samskaras, is to, the, to change the name. Uh, a Vaishnava, uh, 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 somebody who likes to become a pure Vaishnava, he should not maintain his old name, he should accept the spiritual name given by Guru, who, who relates you, identifies you as a servant of Krishna or, or Radharani. Uh, therefore, the name is very important to uh, accept. Uh, Nama. And then Mantra. Uh, mantra means uh, Gopal Mantra. It means Guru is giving you Mantra, initiation, Gayatri Mantras. Uh, so he gives you a Mantra. Uh, so that's the fourth, fourth samskara. And the fifth samskara is yagya. That means he initiates you in the process of, of a performing sacrifice. Either fire sacrifice or the worship of the deities. Yeah. And Sila Prabhupada, because he's a follower of Lord Chaitanya, he also gave us the Sankhitan yagya sacrifice. Yag Sankhitan yagya. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishnam Sangha Pangasta Parshadam Yagyai Sankitam Prayai Yachanti Hisamedasa. Those who are intelligent in the Kali Yuga, they worship the Supreme Lord this time uh, uh, by the Sankitan Yagya in the Kali Yuga and uh, so Sankitan Yagya. Hmm. So the, it's actually the Guru uh, who, who actually realizes and who is empowered to represent, understand and represent the scriptures. Nana Shastra Vichara Naikani Pono Satarma Samstapako. Like the six Goswamis, they study scrutinizingly all the Vedic scriptures to find out Siddhanta for the age of Kali uh, to, uh, uh, to introduce the Satarma, the eternal religious principle for the time, place and circ circumstances so that the people can ultimately become devotee of Krishna and go, go back home, back to Krishna. Huh? This, this, this is uh, uh, the, the Acharya's great mercy. 
They, they, they are studying the scriptures for us. We don't have, to, we have no capacity to read all Vedic scriptures, the Shrutis, the Smritis, all the Puranas, all the 108 Upanishads, 18 Mahapuranas, the Vedanta Sutra, the Mahabharata in full condensed, full edition. Who has time to read all this? These are mil millions of slokas. And even if you read them, you co will become completely confused because you will find so many different contradictions in it. So many diff different opinions and so many different uh, statements of the, sh of the shast different shastras. Uh, and, and, and we as a, a small, tiny, conditioned soul, in ka especially in Kali Yuga, we will become completely bewildered. What is now the right thing to do? Therefore, we need Acharya. Acharya man Purusha Veda. Uh, the Acharya, the Acharya will, re, 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 uh, will reveal, reveal the Veda. Uh. Sila Prabhupada points out, Shastra, there's shast, Shastra with, with short A and Shastra. Uh. Same, both have the same root, Shash, Shashtatu. Uh. The root of Sanskrit root, Shashtatu. Uh. Uh, the the sh shash mi uh, means weapon. Shastra. Uh, shastra means a weapon. But Shastra means scripture. And the, who acts like a weapon. Uh, and so by fo actually uh, follow following, uh, uh, accepting Shastra, we can uh, uh, avoid weapon or punishment. Uh, like you, uh, Parikshit Maharaj, when he saw Kali, was want, uh, who was ready to kill uh, Dharma and, and the cow, uh, Bumi. Uh, he immediately got angry. He took the sword, you know, and wanted to kill uh, the, uh, this, this rascal, Kali. Uh, he could not tolerate that in his kingdom, you know, Adharmic principles uh, take place. Uh, he immediately wanted to punish him. Uh, he could not tolerate. Because uh, he, he wanted to establish his kingdom on the, on, the, on the basis what the Pandavas did and what Krishna established. But after Krishna and the Pandavas uh, left from this world, uh, pa Parikshit Maharaj says, it's typical that such, uh, that, that ch such upstars and rascals like you, Kali, will uh, sprout up uh, in the Kali Yuga, in the Kali Yuga you know, like, like, uh, like uh, shooting stars. But, but uh, I'm here now. I'm representative of Krishna and, uh, and, and, uh, and the Pandavas. And it is my duty to stop you and to kill and punish you uh, to do these uh, adharmic activities. So for Maharaj Parikshit, it was not possible to tolerate adharma for himself and also not in his kingdom. He was the king. Uh, so therefore, at the arma for a person, even if he was, is, even if he's a king, now, nowadays in Kali Yuga, you know, so there were so many kings in history, but they all become feudalistic, sense and joyous. Rarely one of them was a tapasvi, or uh, actually understood the, the process of religion. Uh, they just exploited the citizens for their own sense gratification. Therefore, revolution came. Uh, and the people got rid of them. Uh, French Revolution, Russian Revolution, uh, I don't know. Uh, so many revolutions all over the world uh, appeared, you know, to get rid of the kings. Uh, so therefore nowadays the world is not ruled by kings, but by presidents, uh, who are rep representative of the citizens in the, in the name of democracy, demon crazy. Uh, that means, uh, the, the people empower them, they give them their votes. Uh, and in the end, this uh, government does whatever they like and they are also exploiting the citizens uh, for their own sense gratification. And they establish new rules, new laws. Instead of accepting the, the laws of the, of the Lord and of Shastra, Dharma Shastra and Vedic, Vedic scripture, they make their own laws, say man-made laws and establish this, and they, and they say goodbye to the religious laws, uh, who are based on dharma, based on truth, and on, uh, based on goodness. Uh, so they, 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 they say, this is old, this is Puranic, 
This is from old time. We are from new time now. So we make our new laws. Huh? Who cares if, go, uh, 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 if, if there is karma or not karma or the God or not God? Huh? Who can anyway say? And the Christians say, anyway, God has given, given us this material world, this earth, for our own exploitation, uh, that we can enjoy it, Ma make it uh, subordinate to you and exploit it. Uh, so therefore we can do everything. We are the Lord of this world, not the Lord. Uh, the Lord is, is uh, far away if, if he even exists. Uh, we are not sure, but uh, even if he is an existing or not, he gave us this earth planet. So he doesn't punish us. He gives us this power. We can, we, do, we can do with it whatever we like. We can build it up and we can destroy it. Uh, and this is, the, this is what ex exactly is going on nowadays. They're building up and if, it, if they cannot build up further, what they have to do? They destroy. Uh, they have to destroy it so that they can build up again. Uh, so in this way, economy is going on. Uh, money, money is the God. Uh, money is God. Uh, the God uh, uh, is not so much interesting for us. The money is the power. Uh, so th this is the Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga, everyone is a rascal. They're all fallen kings fa in name of pr kings and presidents. Because only a, fu a few decades or a few hundred years after Parikshit, you know, the Kali Yuga degradation became stronger and stronger and stronger. One king after another became more and more degraded. And ultimately they all became uh, not Kshatriyas anymore, but Vaishyas and Chudras. And even Lechas and Yavanas. Uh, who don't follow any rules. Uh, who have no, no pure qualities, no, no, uh, uh, no, no mode of goodness. No, no proper discipline. They do whatever they like. They even interpret scriptures uh, in their way uh, for their own sense gratification, to establish their own interests, uh, exploiting the world and the people. Uh. And this is demoniac. Uh. This is uh, this is demoniac program. Uh. But uh, Krishna uh, and uh, the Vedic scriptures and the devotees. Uh, they actually have a plan to uh, they try at least you know to uh, to spread this knowledge to spread this uh, shastra vedic scriptures and therefore every devotee uh, in in this uh, sankhita movement pr uh, Prabhupada told he has a responsibility to represent represent you know, the parampara and to represent lord krishna to be a gentleman vaishnava he uh, he uh, translated as a gentleman. Another a word for Vaishnava is gentleman. That means somebody who has proper behavior and conduct. The Dikshava Karunika Suridam Sarvadenam Achata Shatrava Shanta Sadava Sadhu Bhushana. Uh, so Vaishna, Vaishnava is tolerant, is merciful, he has no enemy. He doesn't create any enemy, he doesn't see any enemy, even though somebody is maybe his enemy, but he sees only good in them. Suridam Sarvadehinam, he is friendly to all living entities. Uh, and even the Vedic scriptures also say, also say uh, uh, what is it? Ah, ahims, ah, ah, ahimsa Sarva Bhutanam. Uh, that means uh, pe peace uh, and should not do violence to every living entity. And ev even it, it is um, an. Uh, and anartha in, in ourselves, Jiva Himsa, uh, violence to the soul, is one of the anarthas of the living entities, one of the uh, weeds who, who uh, hamper or who stop the bhakti plant to grow. Uh, uh, this is Jiva Himsa, the doing vi violence to the Jivas, to, the, to other living entities. And should always uh, see other li living entities uh, as part and parcel of the Lord, not as part not as, uh, uh, how we say, instruments or objects for, for our ex exploitation. Mm. But this is al uh, already some higher culture who, uh, who uh, uh, engages in such a way. So the Vedic literatures, uh, 
they, wa they want to uplift the people to, to do good uh, and uh, to be, be charitable uh, and therefore don't give up uh, fruit effectivities, uh, especially karma vimamshi. Uh, those who are in karma vimamshi, they are uh, following this path of the Shat Darshan, that means the uh, six philosophical uh, thesis. There is one uh, called Karma Vimamsha. They say uh, Chaimini, uh, sage, Rishi. Uh, he says uh, we, we don't have to give up uh, fruit effectivity. We just have to learn the people how to do pious work, how to do sacrifice proper, and to do the proper functions, you know, according to the Dharma, so, to, so we become purified and uplifted uh, to, to Svarga Loka. Uh. And, then the, and then there are the Sankhya yogis, Sankhya philosophers, headed by Kapila Dev, Kapila and uh, his followers. They say, uh, no better don't entangle in any fruitive activities and uh, just renounce everything, tyaga, no? just give it up, just uh, re renounce everything and uh, just uh, give up uh, ultimately all connections with the mater material nature, neti neti, no? not this, not that. So they are uh, scientifically uh, detached themselves uh, from the material Cross, uh, uh, cross senses and final senses and uh, uh, any kinds of activities to, to come to the platform of uh, non-activity uh, or complete med meditation trance uh, in Samadhi. Uh. So therefore there, there are th these two schools will argue with each other, should we act or should we not act? So and and Krishna ultimately gives the conclusion yeah, it's actually, uh, it's not necessary uh, to give up, uh, re uh, to, g to give up uh, some uh, activities because um, the, the, uh, the, the acti the ac to give up activities itself who actually could be helpful for one's, uh, for, for, for one's life and for the people's benefit is itself ignorance. Uh, so therefore pra Krishna says, uh, even giving up I uh, activities who are actually could be helpful for, for, uh, for attaining perfection of life is itself ignorance. Therefore we should not give up, even if you are a sannyasi. Therefore Tyaga means giving up the result. Uh, and therefore he defines uh, in, in the, from chapter se uh, verse 7 on up to 12, uh, the modes of nature, Tamaguna, Tyaga in Tamaguna, Tyaga in uh, Rajaguna, Tyaga in Sattvaguna, uh, and so on. So to give actually up the, the, desi the desire for fruit activities, but not to give up activity. Uh, and this we also learned from Lord Chaitanya and from our spiritual masters, Acharyas, to engage everything in the service of Krishna. This is real renunciation. Uh, and not to uh, giving up something that actually uh, can be applied on, in, in Krishna's service. So on, uh, under the guidance of the Acharya, uh, we, 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 we can uh, learn. He leads us how to engage everything f for the, as a sacrifice for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. So in this way one can become genuinely detached, uh, not in a pseudo way, but in a genuine way, so that we are able uh, to become pure devotee. Uh, so it's not recommended to, from one day to another to give up everything, all kinds of activities, and just become a yogi or a meditator. It's not possible. One may, one may, one may will uh, fall. So therefore the scriptures and the charis they teach us according to the, our uh, qualities and nature we have. How to engage activities. How to engage in activities so that we be can become uh, purified. So. so Hare Krishna. Any uh, question?
And the, otherwise, if you have no, uh, not any question, then uh, I'm also ready to read something for you from Chaitanya Charitamrita in this uh, connection. Yes? <coughs> We're meant to uh, accept that which is favorable for uh, devotional service and reject that which is unfavorable. And sometimes that in, in the beginning stage, we can get quite confused. We may think something is favorable and it actually may even be favorable for some point of time. Mm. But then after some time, it starts becoming unfavorable. Yeah. So how do we... For example? I say, so for example, that someone um, thinks like, oh, I'll play a musical instrument for Krishna. Yeah. Like even a, a contemporary uh, instrument uh. like a guitar it starts making songs about Krishna. Mm -hmm. and this is very nice, but then after a while you may think, oh, I'm such a good musician, maybe I could actually <laughs> <laughs> make it as a musician in the world. So then that mm. takes it away from Krishna. Yeah, that means they didn't follow Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada, uh, he, he didn't encourage, uh, I would say, musical career or uh, using music in, in, uh, in Kirtan, besides Mridanga, Kartals, Harmonium, uh, and Tambur. Because he told, these are Vedic instruments. Actually, not, not even har uh, actually from Gaudiya tradition, Harmonium is not even Vedic. Uh, therefore, they don't accept Harmonium in the Kirtan. And even also in the Arctics, Gora Arctic, Mangala Arctic, Harmonium, Prabhupada told, uh, should not be used uh, in the Kirtans, in the Mangala Arctic and Gora Arctic. Uh, it's, uh, but for bad chance, you can use it. But there were many devotees who liked to use different instruments. Uh, 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 Prabhupada didn't encourage that. They, and, they, uh, and there were also LPs di distribution, you know, with different kinds of music, with different melodies. Prabhupada didn't like it. Uh, there are different statements you can read in folio about Hamza Dutta when he, wanted, uh, when he produced LPs in Germany you know, for distribution. Uh, Prabhupada didn't like that. Uh, and later on became even more and more technical you know, and uh, all kinds of melodies from adopted from, uh, di uh, from all kinds of styles, musical styles. Uh, from pop and rock and roll and, uh, and what I don't know what. And, uh, and everything was accepted for the, for the sake of Yukta Vairagya. And, also f uh, and a good example is also with the oil painting. Uh, so, many oil pa so much uh, oil painting, uh, because uh, 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 there was a time, you know, that big, big te temples were required, and the uh, devotees have to figure out how to ma uh, uh, maintain the temples and, and or get all the money together. So book was not enough anymore. They found out painting is better. So they started to, uh, with, with o selling oil paintings from Hong Kong, and I don't know what, and uh, selling that, and, and they, they got a lot of money in this way. No? But what happened? All the brahmacharis who were distributing these uh, paintings, they became Krihasta. Uh, and then ultimately the temple uh, had, the ultimately the temple was there, but the, uh, I would say no more brahmacharis. <laughs> and, uh, and the result you can see nowadays, or at least in the 90s when I was in America, the temples were practically empty. I don't know how is it today, I don't travel to America anymore. Uh, but in the 90s, the temples were empty. There were only Indians. And why, why Indians are becoming dedic uh, dedicated to temple worship and maintaining temples? Because it's the, their, their culture. The Western people they don't have this culture. We accept it fanatically and reject it fanatically. Boga, uh, Yaga. That means we are not dedicated. Uh, they are not dedicated. Like a, like, like a Hindu, you know, they, they know we have to maintain a temple by hook and by crook. By all means, we cannot sell a temple of the deity. Because deity is installed, you cannot uh, sell the property of the deity. But nowadays in Kali Yuga and so, in so many places, property is illegally, the, the uh, temples uh, sold property of deity to get some, something better and then more problems came. Therefore, so many problems came with the time, you know. And even book distribution was uh, practically going down to almost nothing. 
America was top nation in book distribution, you know, in the se 70s and you know, like that. In the 80s also, they, they distributed so many books. But then they started uh, so many other things you know, in the name of Yukta Vairagya and then they got the result. Uh, they struggled like anything to maintain temples. Uh, and now gradually they come back. Uh, but still Indians are st strong there in America. They're, they're holding up the, the steadiness of uh, maintaining a temple and uh, or supporting the temple. And they're taking uh, responsibility fully. They Western people, we are very whimsical. No, not very steady in this way, you know. <coughs> Even to Prabhupada's time, you know. Here, when he, when he installed the deity Krishna Balaram Mandir, no, uh, he gave this famous lecture where, where he, uh, where he um, told to the devotees the importance of worshipping the deity. You should not think, oh, now this old man no, has, have, has, has installed these uh, deities here. And now he is going, and now he gives the responsibility to us. Uh, but he is going, uh, uh, and he in the, and he warned the devotees, you know, don't don't make uh, the deity worship cheap. Uh, you have to maintain the deity worship by all means. Don't make it cheap. Don't give it up. Don't think, oh, deity worship is something very difficult, some troublesome, heavy burdens, heavy responsibility. Then if you think like that, deity worship becomes like that. Uh, it de destroys you. Uh, you have to t t take deity worship as some something very joyful because you can serve Krishna directly. Deity is not different from Krishna. Uh, is Sakshat, Va uh, Vigraha, is, is, is the Lord himself. Is coming, you know, accepting, so and we, ac uh, and we are, we are uh, uh, the Acharya, and we, we are uh, inviting him. And then after some, si sometimes uh, we say, oh, sorry, we cannot serve you anymore, we have to put you asleep. Huh? Or even sell you or, go or give you to another temple, because we are not able to worship you anymore. So uh, deity worship uh, is something uh, most ecstatic, and personal, like Sila Prabhupada told to uh, Chananivas and uh, Pankajangri Prabhus in uh, Mayapur, the, the head Puchar is there. Normally, we, uh, the devotee who is, uh, uh, b before he goes back home, back to God, at the Goloka, he takes birth in, on, on a uni in a universe where, the, where, where Lord Krishna performs his Leela. And there he will take birth in, in Lord Krishna's family of gopis and gopas. And he learns from them, you know, how to engage in the spontaneous loving devotional service to Krishna. Who is actually very pleasing, this rag, you know, this raga. But these two pujaris, they don't have to do it. They can go directly to Goloka. Because they already learned this relationship with Krishna in deity worship. That is... That is the unique opportunity we have, you know, to actually uh, do this wor deity worship in, in a very personal way. <laughs> Krishna is your son, he is your lover, he is your friend, he is your master. Uh, the best of everything. Uh, and the devotee uh, develops an, a sentiment, a rasa, some path towards the deity. And therefore the devo devotees uh, a puchari in the temple, like uh, uh, Mukunda Datta, you know, our head puchari in, in, uh, here in the temple. Why he is dedicated since uh, 25 years uh, as head puchari? It's not an easy temple, you know, to be a manager of, uh, of puchari department. But he could do it because he's so much dedicated to Radhashyam. Radhashyam is his life and soul. Is completely absorbed in in, in this uh, in, in this uh, subject of Radhishyam. There's nothing else in his mind. Therefore, uh, Radhishyam worship or deity worship is a life elixir for him. 
because he meditates constantly about it and he also worships and he serves them in the best way. And that we have to learn. And this, and this we should never give up. We should not think, oh, they did worship in one point, we have to give up. This is Mayavadi. Mayavadi is the except also deity worship. They, they are also chanting Hare Krishna mantra and Gopal mantras. Govinda, Jaya, Jaya, and sometimes very beautiful, very sweet melodies, you know. But it's Mayavadi. Oh, and what is Mayavadi? Uh, he uses just as an, as an, as an instrument, as, an, as a process, you know, to become God. But if I become Brahman or God myself, if I'm fulfilled, he gives up deity worship. He gives up, he gives up uh, man mantra chanting. He becomes practically silent, mauna. No, he's not speaking anymore. He's not uh, worshiping deity anymore. Because now he became God. And he even kick, sometimes he gives his own guru the kick. I'm the God now. Like Prabhupada one time, he was in the, in the, in the, the, uh, the, the, the devotees brought him down to the Ganga to take bath. He was old and he uh, could not go, go nicely down, so the devotees helped him uh, to go down. Because in Mayapur, the cliff, uh, you know, this bank of the Ganga, you, know, you have to become almost a little mountain climber. <laughs> It's uh, slippery and risky, you know, especially if you're older. No? So they helped him uh, to go down, and they also they helped him to come up. And then when Prabhupada was uh, being up on the level again of the, on, the, on the land, he gave the devotee who helped him to go up a kick. You know the story. He gave him a kick. And the devotee was, uh, was uh, surprised over what Prabhupada meant, why he gives me a kick. And the Prabhupada said, this, this are what, are the Maya, the, the, what, are, what the Mayavadis are doing. The, they're accepting the help of Guru and in the end they give him a kick. Uh, now I'm the Guru, I'm God. I don't need you anymore. Therefore all these Mayavadi Gurus, after the Guru left, they completely, they don't continue with the teachings of him. They, they invent something new. But this is not parampara, this, uh, this is degradation, uh, this is aparada. Uh, first Guru Apparat, Bhagavan Apparat, Deity Apparat, Worship, uh, uh, how we say, uh, Seva Apparat, uh, Nama Apparat, all kinds of apparatus they are doing. Uh. So, therefore, in, in proper Guru uh, Parampara, coming in Vaishnava line, you know, we, have, we have dedication, we have responsibility to Acharya. We, we give promise, we give making vow. So, we have to keep this whole life. Not when the Acharya goes, okay, now I can do whatever, uh, uh, whatever I like, I'm free now. <laughs> no, then we have to do it more, even more. Because Prabhupada, he told, no, the, you can, uh, uh, we hear this always from Bhakti Charuswami, that's his, in every lecture practically, huh? it's very important, uh, we can see how much we lo love Krishna and, and Guru, no? in, uh, in how much we are ha holding this movement together and cooperate with each other. Uh, this is very important thing, you know, to uh, this cooperation. Uh, this is yoga. Huh? Everything else is deviation. It's our yoga. Not our yoga in the separation, you know, but in a very unfavorable way. Huh? Rejecting, you know. So we cannot, our, our Western mentality is always accept and reject. Huh? Temporarily we reject something and when we don't like anymore or if something becomes burdenful, bur burdensome, and boring, or uh, we don't have authority anymore st uh, standing behind us, whom, uh, uh, from whom we are afraid, and therefore we are serving and executing it, then we do whatever we like. And this is our cheating propensity, and that's why we are in this material world. Uh. Clear? <laughs> <laughs> Other question? <coughs> no? 
Come. Shyam. How's the note? Pipi son. All is clear. <laughs> He is dangerous, and now, now he think, drinks his tea that to prepare himself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should close now. <laughs> oh, how much time we actually may have to the next program? The time is over. Then, therefore, we I'm closing here. Actually, more or less everything. What also what, what I wanted to read is told out of uh, what I could memorize. I could uh, read a little more, but you, if you like, you can read about, if you want to go deeper in this subject of, uh, of uh, I would say, no, fa uh, sa fa um, animal sacrifices, uh, like that, uh, then you, you should read s uh, 70 chapter of Adi Lila. Uh, that means uh, Lord Chaitanya is uh, preaching to Chant Kasi. Is it 17? Oh, let me see. I think it's 17th. 17th, yeah. 17 from 154 on. First 154. No. Uh, because. Uh, Lord Chaitanya came to Chankasi, he made this, uh, because Chankasi stopped the Sankhita movement, the, the Mridanga, he smashed the Mridangas, and he stopped, he forbid to chant Hare Krishna publicly. Uh, and Lord Chaitanya, when he heard it ab about that, he became very angry. Uh, who has the right to, sto to stop the Sankhita Yagya? So he immediately made this, uh, I would say uh, some kind of boycott or of, uh, I would say with a group of devotees and, and at the time it was uh, hundreds and thousands and millions more and more joined him uh, to go to the palace of Chankasi and, and, uh, and there Chankasi he hided himself, he became afraid. Uh, that people started to rip apart his palace and then ultimately became a little afraid and he came out and he surrendered to Lord, Chita Lord Chaitanya and, and Lord Chaitanya asked him uh, see, I, I have uh, one question to you uh, uh, since the bull and the cow are your father and mother how can you kill and eat them? what kind of religious principle is this? on what strength are you so daring that you commit such sinful activities. Uh, because uh, Kasi, as a Muslim, he thought, oh, for us, is, uh, k uh, k killing animals is uh, go good. Even the cows, especially. Uh, and as Tolstoy was saying, as long as there are uh, slaughterhouses, there are battlefields. So naturally, if one uh, is uh, eating himsa, that means violent food, you know, one also becomes himsa, one becomes violent, one becomes aggressive. So therefore Lord Chaitanya asked him, the cause of your aggressiveness must be your eating habit, your eating of animals. So which, on which authority you are actually e uh, there to eat animals and slaughtering the cows even publicly out on the street. Uh, we have seen this, they, they, they don't do, do it in slaughterhouses, they do it directly on the street in the Muslim countries. Every, every child can see it, a baby can see it, all people can see it. How, how a cow becomes slaughtered, you know, cut, you know, throat cut. Uh, very brutal, you know. And they do it also in the name of sacrifice. Based on the scriptures, but Lord, Chait Lord Chaitanya challenged him. The Kasi and the Kasi replied, "As you have, as you have your your uh, your your own literatures called the Vedas and the Puranas, we uh, we have our scriptures known as the Holy Quran. 
Uh, according to the Quran, there are two ways of advancement through increasing the propensity of enjoyment, pravriti mark, and through decreasing the propensity to enjoy nivriti mark. On the path of, of decreasing attachment, nivriti mark, the killing of animals is prohibited, even in the Quran. On the path of material activities, uh, that means uh, pravriti mark, uh, however, there is regulation for killing cows. If such killing is uh, done under the guidance of scripture, there is no sin. That's, that's his interpretation. As the learned scholar, the Kazi, as a learned scholar, the Kazi challenged Shaitanya Mahaprabhu, in your Vedic scriptures there is an injunction for killing a cow. On the strength of, the, of this injunction, great sages perform sacrifices involving cow killing. Mm. Uh, refuting the Kazi statement, the Lord immediately replied, The Vedas clearly enjoined that cows should not be killed at all. Therefore, every Hindu, whoever he may be, avoids indulging in cow killing. This is considered the greatest sin. Uh, killing the mother, practically. Because cow is one of the seven mothers. In the Vedas and the Puranas, there are in, in injunctions declaring that if, if one can revive a living being, one can kill it for experimental purposes. Therefore, the great sages sometimes killed old cows and by chanting Vedic hymns, they brought them back to life for perfection. Uh, the killing and rejuvenation, it's all verses, Bengali verses from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. The killing and rejuvenation of such old and invalid cows was not uh, truly killing, but an act of great benefit. Formerly, there were powerful brahmanas who could make such experiments using Vedic hymns, but now, because of the Kali Yuga, brahmanas are not so powerful. Therefore, the killing of cows and bulls for rejuvenation is forbidden. Ashvameda gavalambyam sanyasam palapaitrikam devarena sutotpatim kalaupancha vivarchayet. As stated in Brahma Vaivarta Purana, in this age of Kali, five acts are forbidden, the offering of a horse in sacrifice, the offering of a cow in sacrifice, the acceptance of the order of sannyas, I mean especially Mayavadi sannyasi, for, for the sake of preaching, this is accepted, the offering of oblations of flesh to the forefathers, Pitri, and a man's begetting children in his brother's wife. Huh? Like Vyasadev, huh? he, he, he created uh, children in his brother's wife on the request of his mother, Satyavati. And they were accepted as the, as the children of her and her departed uh, father, uh, father uh, husband, uh, Vichitravira, who died pr prematurely. Since, since you Muslims cannot bring, uh, bring killed cows back to life, you are responsible for killing them, therefore you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Lord Chaitanya told them. Huh? Cow killers are condemned to rot in hellish life for as many thousands of years as there are hairs on the body of the cow. Uh, there are many mistakes and illusions in your scriptures. Their compilers, not knowing the essence of knowledge, gave orders that were against reason and argument. After hearing these statements by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Kasi, his arguments, uh, his arguments stand, could not put forward any more uh, words. Thus, after due consideration, the Kasi accepted defeat and spoke as follows. My dear Nimai Pandit, what you have said is all true. Our scriptures have developed only recently and they are certainly not logical and philosophical. Um, I know that our scriptures are full of imaginations and mistaken ideas, yet because I am a Muslim, I accept them for the sake of my community, despite their insufficient support. The reasoning and arguments in the scriptures of, of the meat eaters are not very sound, the Kasi concluded. Upon hearing this statement, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu smiled and inquired from him as follows. Further, uh, and so on and so on. You can read in this 17th chapter, uh, Adi Lila Chaitanya Charitamrita. Okay. Hare Krishna. 
Stimme auch Tag auf Kita, Kijai. Slain Kreis, Silla Braupat, Kijai. Nitai Kor, Premanandi, Hari Hari Bol. Wow. Uh -huh. 